Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to supercharge your power by reports with live, up-to-the-minute data from the web, then you're in the right place. Today I'm going to show you, step-by-step, step, exactly how to fetch data from an API directly into Power BI. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to pull in external data feeds and have them ready for all your analysis and dashboards. Let's get straight into it. First things first, open up Power BI on your computer. If you haven't worked with it before, don't worry, it's pretty user-friendly once you get the hang of it. Once you're on the main Power BI dashboard, look up at the ribbon along the top. You'll want to click on the tab that says Home. Think of the Home tab as your command center in Power BI. Almost every major action starts here. Now under Home, look for the option labeled Get Data. This button is super important. It's basically the gateway to bringing in information from all sorts of sources, not just spreadsheets or databases, but web data too. Click on Get Data, and a menu will pop up with different types of sources you can connect to. Here, where things get interesting, in the search or list of data sources, type the word web. We're doing this because the API we want is actually a web-based data feed. APIs, or application programming interfaces, are like digital waiters for data. They bring the information from a website's kitchen straight to your Power BI table. After selecting Web from the list, go ahead and click Connect. You'll see a dialog box appear asking you to enter a URL. This is where you're going to paste in the API endpoint. That's just a fancy term for the web address that provides the data you're interested in. Maybe it's a public API that gives you weather information, or something that delivers stock prices, or even custom business data. Copy the API URL from your online source, then paste it into the box provided. Right after you paste the URL, click OK. Now this is the moment where Power BI reaches out to the web and starts fetching the data from the API. This part might take a few moments, depending on the speed of your internet connection and how much data is being pulled in. So just be patient, you're almost there. Once everything loads, you'll see a preview of the data on your screen. Power BI is really good at letting you see what you're working with before you commit, so take a quick look and make sure it's the information you're expecting. If everything looks good, go ahead and load it into your workspace. And honestly, that's it. You've now successfully connected to a web API and pulled live data directly into Power BI. Just remember. If something doesn't look right or if it doesn't load immediately, don't worry. Sometimes API links require authentication or headers, and that might mean a few extra steps, but for most open data sources, this process works beautifully. So there you have it. You've just unlocked a powerful new way to bring dynamic, real-time data straight into your Power BI projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if there's a particular API you'd like to see connected next. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more practical power by tutorials and data tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.